Formula 5000 was simply the best. Cars were overpowered, undertired, the drivers were risk takers, and the cars were often picks to drive. Frank Gardner said they were like driving a hammer for all the weight at one end, not for the faint hearted. At the start of this race, the Tasman final at Sandown Park in 1975 demonstrates everything that Formula 5000 racing was all about. Formula 1 versus Formula 5000. Let us not forget that in 1973, Peter Gethin won the race of champions at Brands Hatch. Gethin was driving his Chevron B24 Chev against a field of Formula 1 cars and 5000s. In the Formula 1 cars there were people like Emerson Fittipaldi, Nicky Lauda, Denny Holm, Ronnie Peterson and Jean-Pierre Beltoise and he beat a lot of them fair and square. Here in Australia we were so lucky we had a whole raft of Formula 5000 drivers who were amongst the best in the world. Included in those drivers were Frank Maddich, the innovator, silky smooth, unbeatable on his day. Neil Allen, he was as good as Maddich. Allen ran a well-funded and exceptional team. Kevin Bartlett, an Australian icon, amazing reflexes, fast, driven everything. Max Stewart, fast, brave, quickest hands you've ever seen. One-handed opposite locking. John McCormack got better and better as the decade wore on. Became the standard setter for Formula 5000 drivers. Warwick Brown, master of the oversteer, dashing and brutal. John Goss, underrated but blindingly fast. Alfredo Costanzo, unafraid of anyone. John Walker, he was an absolute ace. Bruce Allison, brave and took no prisoners. Frank Gardner, the benchmark and an absolute pro, relentless. Vern Schupen, underrated and always a surprise. Ken Smith, New Zealand icon and still racing today in his 70s. Graham McRae, known as Cassius for good reason. Graham Lawrence, inch perfect and Mr Reliable. Chris Amon, ex-Ferrari Formula One driver. This is Super 8 footage of the 1971 New Zealand Grand Prix at Pukekohe. Neil Allen, Chris Amon, Lotus 70. Allen dives under Mattage. Mattage then does the over and under. McRae and Allen. Mattage and David Oxford. Evan Noyes retiring his brother. McRae and Allen again. A very sideways angle. Neil Allen steaming past. And it's still sideways, Chris Angle. Michael Lyons driving his Lola T400, as it should be driven. Craig Bennett in his shadow, racing Laguna Seca. <laughs> 